Oh, right, well, it's, uh, it is mighty glad to be here with you, folks, and uh, we came 19 hours to be here with you, so uh, we're mighty glad to get out of the bus, and nice to see a big crowd here on a Thursday, and uh, what a great venue it is. Last time was at the old venue. I think this is a wonderful venue, don't you folks? Thank you. Nice and covered. And looking good. Well, uh, I want to take the time to introduce the boys here for you, and uh, I really appreciate these guys. Uh, if I could go all over the country and try to find four guys, I couldn't find the four guys that I have. The good Lord bless me with some of the, one of the greatest guys in the world. And I want to introduce them for you this afternoon. And will you do me a favor, folks? When I introduce their name, I want you to act like you just won the $400 million Powerball lottery. I want you excited. I want you a lot of energy from you. It makes them play better, and it'll just be good for the whole entire weekend. So can you do that? Ernie said you can get rowdy down here in Yeehaw Junction, so we're going to find out. Over here on the fiddle, he's one of the finest fiddle players you're ever going to find in the, in the country. He played fiddle for many, many years. Uh, he played with the original Bluegrass Cardinals, won an IBMA award with the, with the Cardinals and Del McCurry. He's uh, Mr. Charlie Moore, and uh, shared the Grand World Opera stage over a dozen times in his career. He truly is one of the finest. We're mighty lucky to have him on board with the, with the ride. How about a nice hand, everybody? The one, the other, Mr. Warren Blair. Right around here. Back here on the on the old base back here, he dressed up for you, and uh, I guess you think he's good looking, apparently, at the beginning of the show. A lot of women yelling. Hey, Ryan, Ryan, yeah. I don't know whether you know this, but he's performed in this place before. Really? He was in the rodeo. Get out of here. Yeah, they fired him, though. Why? Nobody could stay on him more than eight seconds. I hear that. He's playing the bass for you now. He does a terrific job. And uh, sings a good tenor. We're mighty, mighty proud of this man. He's been working with me on, on close to six years. How about a nice hand? We call him Rockin' Richard E. Golf. Give him a nice hand, everyone. And the fellow picking the five-string banjo. Uh, how many are familiar with this man? Raise your hand. How many tell people you really know him? Raise your hand. That's what I thought. A couple of you. Well, uh... I met him. I met this man, this dear man. I tell everyone, six years old when I first met him, and it was just, it was just a moment for me. And uh, my dad said, "I want to take you down to the historic Sunset Park. You got to see this banjo play." You went to Sunset Park. Six years old, just wow. to see you. Saturday afternoon, we pulled the old station wagon in, looked on the stage, and there he was. I got out, and finally, I looked up there. I was in awe for about five minutes. I finally said, "Dad, where in the world did you hear about this man? He's amazing." He looked down at me and said, "Well, son." When I was your age, my dad took me to go see him as well. Yeah. He's playing the five string better than ever, working with me for 12 years on the on the five string banjo. It doesn't get any better than this man. How about I see Billy Lee Cox? Make him welcome. Yeah. Well, it's good to be back down to Florida. We left that cold weather up here. It was so cold when we left, we saw a dog frozen to a fire hydrant. <laughs> but we're here. We broke free. <laughs> But anyway, the guy doing all the talking, it's amazing. He's 34 years old, runs a bluegrass festival, runs... 32? 32. I never get your age right. Look he is. 32. Always had trouble with women. But anyway, that's another story. But anyway, yeah, he used to play heavy metal polka music years ago, and uh, he, was in, he was known as the Ayatollah Rock and Roller, the Earl of Funk, and the Granddaddy of Cool. But we just call him Ryan Frankhauser. Why don't you put your hands together for him? for him already and this is one of them and he does a wonderful job if you like what you hear let him know it okay mr warren blair it goes like this
I'm losing you.